All right, listen up, you guys. Cosine what? 30 degrees <laughs> equals radical 3 over 2. The first thing that you guys need to do is just look at this triangle and say, okay, what's missing? What else can I fill out? That's, okay, good. We have, we have 60, okay? So put the 60 right there. Okay, then you have to, listen, you guys, this is pivotal, okay? Because in order to go from cosine to whatever this side is, you could say this, look. You could say A and B, and this is C, but what's the relationship between A and cosine? X and Y. Nothing, nothing. There is no relationship from the variable A to cosine. So I want you guys to think about on the unit cosine circle, down. on the coordinate plane, this horizontal line, this represents the X, okay? So this is our X, this is our Y. So instead of going A squared plus B squared X equals y. C squared, we're gonna say X squared plus Y squared will equal our one squared, which in this case is just gonna be one. Is everybody okay with that? No. All right, no? <laughs> All right, now, from here, since we've got a 30, 60, remember the thing I wanted you guys to memorize? What do you gotta memorize about this particular triangle? What do you try, what's your direction? Well, no. No. Equilateral, okay? So, equilateral triangles have 60 degree angles. We have one of the 60 degree angles right here. We don't have a 60 degree angle there. So what we're gonna do is reflect the same triangle underneath. Now listen, some of the, 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 the ways when I can tell people are just trying to memorize and stuff instead of understand, is they reflect it this way. Okay, do you see how that's gonna be weird? Because you're gonna have a 30, 120, 30 triangle. So that's not gonna work that well. Okay, so you wanna reflect it down. And then if we, we made the same triangle but on the bottom, that means that this side right there, that's gonna be 60. That side on that side is gonna be 30. So what's 30 plus 30? 60, okay. So now we have an equilateral triangle. And from here, equilateral triangles have all angles the same. So that means that what else is the same? The sides. So this side we already know, right? This side is one. So then what is this side? One. One, what is that other side? One, okay. So now how is that gonna help us figure out our X and our Y are any of those values. Good, okay. If this is a perpendicular bisector, do you guys remember that? This is a perpendicular bisector. So since this is a perpendicular bisector, we know that we can cut the value of this length in half, which means that Y is one half, okay? Now, if Y is one half, we can then go back into our equation and then use algebra the rest of the way, okay? So. If y is one half, we have to square that. What's one half squared? Two fourths. One. No. <laughs> one fourth, okay? One fourth. Now, another way of writing one would be four over four, right? Isn't four divided by four and one? So we, here we have four over four, and we're gonna move this over to the other side. So what's four over four minus one over four? Three fourths. Good, three fourths, okay? So we have x squared equals three fourths, how do I undo the square? square take the square root, okay? And we're gonna take the square root of the, of the top and the bottom. Now, whenever you take the square root of an x variable, we have to put plus or minus, but why didn't I put that there? Did I just, am I getting lazy? Maybe a little bit. We can't have a negative distance, okay? So, square root of three, I don't know, but what's the square root of four? Two, and so now, this is how you're gonna connect everything together, listen x equals radical 3 over 2, and we know that x and cosine are related, right? Cosine of the angle is, is equal to the x of the angle, okay? So cosine equals x, thus cosine of 30 degrees has to be radical 3 over 2. So we could just do that instead of doing that. Cut.